Hi, I'm Delisa Hunter and I'm training Voices for Success. And I'm bringing you a video today on how to sing in your mixed voice or how to belt. And of course, this is something that is very experience driven for me because um, I was a gospel singer for a very long time and of course I still am. And then I got to college and I declared my major voice performance and I realized that everything was classical. So um, I thought it was cool because basically I just took all of my classical training and I changed my vowels and it became a great mixed voice. And it was wonderful for me because I had been struggling um, with a lot of hoarseness for a long time because I was chesting everything. So I was singing with my chest voice so hard for so long. That mixed voice was a welcome relief. So today I'm going to teach you exactly what it is um, that I do to sing in my mixed voice. The first thing you have to learn um, when singing in mixed voice, I would say is humming exercises. You must learn how to sing in the mask. You have to sing very forward, very clearly. Um, a lot of times, if you're if you're mainly a chest voice singer, your your um, bottom ends up really raspy because of the way that you sing. You sing everything so heavily and you sing everything so forcefully that you don't leave room for a whole lot of beauty. So you must learn how to do that, and I find that a really great way to do that is humming exercises. Um, basically what you do is you go, ah, ah, now keep your throat just that much open with your, you know, your soft palate nice and high, you're very relaxed and close your mouth. So you're going to go, mm, mm, mm. it feels like it kind of tickles in there and you feel that pressure point behind your nose that ning, 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 that pressure point right there. That's where it needs to be. So you're going to go ahead. And you're going to do some humming exercises. And um, something that works for me all the time is just a simple one, five, one, five, one. So. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that that's always forward. Now, one thing you should have noticed is that I didn't go. I went. Always keep your notes forward moving. Imagine a line that's going somewhere, like if it's going to the other wall or something like that. Always imagine your notes moving forward as opposed to. Bypass all of that tension and just let it float. That's your first step to singing um, in the mask and to belting. That's actually very key because belting is just a very strong, very clear head voice. And um, that's just the main thing. So now with after you do those humming exercises, I would say to try to open up to a vowel like a, if you have a heavy voice or if you have a voice that, um, tends to be raspy or something like that, like mine, I would sing on an E because it's a bright vowel. So, e start, maybe try to start lower in your range, maybe. A big question that I get is, how do I know when my chest voice runs out and I have to start belting? Well, it's not about your chest voice running out. Even when you're low in your range, don't sit so hard on your voice. Don't go, e don't do that. Don't flip between your notes. Always add a little head voice to everything that you do. And that's the way that you find evenness. Um, e even though you're in your chest voice and you can sit really heavy on it and it feels so good to sit heavy on it, don't do it. Because what's going to happen is that's when you're going to get a whole bunch of breaks in your voice. So always, always resonate your voice right here in the mask. As opposed to. See, I'm sure you heard the difference. So try that. If you naturally have a light voice, do an ah. Ah. 
Now, if you already have, if you have a dark voice, an ah is not going to work for you because you're just going to go, ah. Oh. But if you have a light voice, it'll be perfect. So, ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, and of course, you can add vibrato to it. That makes it nice and rich. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um. Now, if you want to, here's the kicker that everyone pays thousands of dollars for to learn. To, in order to get away from that operatic sound that comes along with singing a strong head voice, change the vowel. So instead of going, go, right? I did everything the same, except one had very vertical vowels. And that's what happens when you're singing opera. You're taught to release everything, release all of your tension. No smiling. When you're singing pop, add a smile to it. That's why you see so many people go, ah! Okay, that sound is what makes that operatic sound go away. And what actually happens to your resonance is instead of your resonance being up here in your forehead, it automatically drops it down there. Because when you're going, ah, you're, you're cutting off how high your voice can go. But if you keep your voice nice and open and you keep it in head voice, it's going to pop exactly where you need it to pop. So that's why I say the first thing you need to do is learn how to sing in the mask, figure out what your head voice is, and then once you have your head voice, pop that thing forward right there. Um, some other great ways to learn how to sing in um, just what your range sounds like high for people who might naturally have a raspy voice or something like that um, is, I mean, I know some people hate them, but trilling exercises do work. And the reason why they work is because you're not conscious of your throat at that time. All you're worried about is, I need to get this trill out. So... So, that's a great way to learn how to sing in your mix because you're singing in a nice, strong, steady head voice and you're not even paying any attention. So what happens is when you open up to a ah, it goes sounds like ah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So find your head voice. Get your head voice. It's okay if you sound really operatic while you're practicing. It's fine. It's easier to take that away. Um, if you don't want to sound that operatic, stop the vibrato. If you don't want to sound that operatic, change the vowel. But that is how you sing in your belting voice. That's how you sing strong without, um, without hurting yourself. So give me some feedback. It took me years to learn that. I went to college to learn that. And again, I can't believe I gave that for free. <laughs> But um, you asked. So, and I gave it to you. So, um, I hope all is well with you all. I hope that helps. Please let me know. Um, be blessed. Goodbye.